My name is Debbie Sterling. I'm a mechanical engineer and I'm the founder and CEO of Goldie Blocks. I got inspired to pursue engineering from my math teacher. When I was in high school, she pulled me aside one day and told me she thought I'd be good at engineering and that I should major in it in college. And the truth is I actually didn't even know what engineering was, but she was my favorite teacher and my role model. And so my freshman year of college, I signed up for an engineering class. And in that first class, I finally learned what engineering really was. Engineering is basically just solving problems and building things that help people and make the world a better place. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. When I graduated with a degree in mechanical engineering, I spent seven years at different jobs searching and searching for what that big idea could be. And uh, one day I found it. It was just a conversation with a girlfriend. And she said that her older brothers uh, grew up playing with construction toys and those got her tinkering and building and made her want to be an engineer. And in that moment, it made me realize that for the past hundred years, construction toys have been built for and designed for boys. It just became this aha moment that now I have this engineering degree and I could put it to great use by designing toys for young girls to teach them engineering skills so that then when they grow up, they can become the inventors of the future, whether they're making toys or rocket ships. My job is incredibly rewarding every single day. I get photos and letters and videos of girls and parents who love playing with my toys and so many of them have told me that they've inspired them. They start to see the world in a different way once they learn the simple machines behind everything in our lives. For me, why I got into all of this in the first place was I, I dreamed that one day my toys could be that nudge or that spark for a little girl, the same one that I was so lucky to get from my math teacher. My advice to any young person who's interested or thinking about STEM, I would say you have gotta get comfortable with failure because it happens all the time. And actually, failure is really just a learning opportunity to get better and better. The moments when I failed and when something didn't work out the way I thought would often actually lead to a big aha moment. The other thing I want every young person to know is that your ideas are valuable. Don't ever let anybody make you think otherwise. If your ideas seem different or if you seem different from everybody else, that doesn't mean that your ideas aren't good. In fact, that means your ideas are, are even more needed because the more ideas that people bring to the table, the better solutions we're gonna make to the world's biggest problems. We need your ideas.